right, guys, welcome to part five, I believe. So I just want to show you what I'm using here. So I got my center tap that I bought from Harbor Freight out of the case. And it's right here. And I'm using this um, church pen that I got from church. Basically, it's one of my classes to mark the mounting holes to where they go. You can see there's a little bit of black um, ink on here on this piece of wood. And all I did was just try to measure up as close to the edges of the wood so that I have enough space for everything. And then I put a little bit of ink from the pen inside the center of the hole just to make sure that I can use my center tap. So I'm using my left hand right now so I can show you guys what my right. Oh no, let me just switch really quick. Hold on. Because I know my high right is stronger. Anyway, if I go down, I believe the next hole should be right here. Let me just double check here. All right here. Right there. It's kind of hard because I need to look while I'm holding the phone, but there, right there. Okay, it goes right there, I think. But the reason why I'm doing this is so that way I can tap where the hole is supposed to be at. So I got one here, one over here, and I believe the next one should be right here. But I'm double checking here. And ah, uh, I'm dropping stuff all freaking day, make me irritated. Anyway, um. Uh, Right. It's hard to kind of get everything lined up the way I want it. Right there. But yeah, this is how I'm doing it. He used a screwdriver, I think. It was like a Phillips, like real thin screwdriver that he was pressing and wiggling a little bit to kind of make a little hole. That's why I got the center punch, so I don't have to worry about doing that. Because, you know, you may not be able to get a right accurate hole. So, I'm just flipping stuff around here just so I can see. I'm sorry if this is taking long, guys. It's a little bit of a tedious type of job to do. Uh, trying to mount these holes up, right? I just don't want to put... I don't want to drill and try to put a screw in unless I got the right location. There, there it goes. Okay, one right there, and right here, right there, right there. I'm just trying to. I'm looking at how I have everything measured up. It's right there. Yeah. So this hole right here. I mean that little um dot. It already has a little bit of it, but if I just press. Hold on. They're right there. So that's going to be where I put my drill bit into. And then I'll drill a little bit. And then add a screw. And then. That one right there. I just got one more of these I got to do. But next. I did get. Matter of fact I'll show you real quick. Um. Inside one of these packages I got from Amazon, I got a lot of them, but, um, there it goes. One of these packages that I got, I'm just grabbing it right here. Stupid stuff all over the stupid floor. Anyway, um, so this package right here, I'm trying to get it out. Uh, all right. So inside here, it was in a Amazon Prime like bag, like a wrapping paper like um, plastic bag, and then it was inside of this one. So now if I could just pull it out. Oh, there. All right. So this, if I could show you, is metric drill bits. So they do from 
1.5 to 2 millimeters to 2.5 millimeters to 3 to 3.2 to 3.5 to 4 millimeters 4.5 4.8 5, 5.5, 6, 6.5. So I got a set of these and it only cost me about like 13 to 14 dollars, I believe. I don't know, depending on like shipping, but or taxes, but either way, it was pretty cheap around like 15 dollars for a set of these. And so I'm going to be using the um, I guess the two, yeah, the two, or maybe the 1.5, I'm not sure yet. I probably start with the 1.5 just so I can have an area or like a little bit of a hole so that way because when I put the drill the screws in they're gonna thread inside of the wood down here so when I put the screw with my screwdriver it'll be threading the wood while it's going in so it'll make sure it's nice and tight and stuck in there anyway so that's it for part five I believe is what I'm at and um, stay tuned, I guess, for part six, because I'm going to be showing you guys, hopefully, the legs attached. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.